expected value and variance. Now, what we're talking about here are the expected value and variance of a discrete random variable. Now, the expected value, also known as the mean, like the mean of data, is a measure of central location. But here we're talking about a measure of central location for the random variable and not for data. The expected value can be written as e of x, or it can be written as mu, which is also the symbol for the population mean. And it's equal to the sum of x times f of x. Now x is the random variable and f of x is the probability function. So we're summing the product of the values of the random variable and the corresponding probabilities. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose we want to compute the expected value of a random variable with the following probability distribution. So the values of the random variable are 3, 6, and 9, and the corresponding probabilities are 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0.25. Now to calculate the expected value, what we can do is add another column to the probability distribution, and this column is going to be the product of x and f of x. So 3 times 0.25 is equal to 0.75, 6 times 0.5 is equal to 3, and 9 times 0.25 is equal to 2.25. To get the expected value, we simply sum the values in this column, which is going to be 6. So our expected value is equal to 6. Now, the variance of a discrete random variable is a measure of variability, just as the variance is a measure of variability for data. Now, the variance can be written as VAR, or it can be written as sigma squared, which is also the notation for the population standard deviation. And the formula is the sum of x minus mu squared times f of x. So just as we did with the expected value, to compute the variance, we can add some columns to our probability distribution. The next column we'll add is the difference between the values and the expected value. So the expected value is 6, so we have 3 minus 6 is negative 3, 6 minus 6 is 0, and 9 minus 6 is 3. The next column is going to be the square of the previous column, so x minus mu squared. Negative 3 squared is 9, 0 squared is 0, and 3 squared is 9. In our last column, we're going to multiply the previous column by f of x. So 9 times 0.25 is 2.25, 0 times 0.5 is 0, and 9 times 0.25 is, again, 2.25. And to get the variance, we simply sum the values in this column. So it's going to be equal to 4.5. Now, the standard deviation is just 
the square root of the variance. So like the variance, it's a measure of variability, but the benefit of the standard deviation is that it's in the same units as our random variable x. So to calculate the standard deviation, we simply take the square root of 4.5, which is going to be equal to 2.12.